Today I have a couple clips and I think they perfectly represent why I think hugging Mythic Plus, especially low keys, but really just any Mythic Plus keys are so hilarious to me. A lot of it is kind of the weird social interactions. And I think that's sometimes so strange because you're doing like really hard content. I think the timer, especially on lower keys, like kind of stresses people out more than it even does in the higher keys. But what it presents is outside of the social, like, you know, arguing or funny comments, just sublime physical comedy, something that when you see you laugh because you know how everybody's feeling after it happened let's take a look at the first clip That is one that I had never seen before in my entire life pugging. I made a video on it. it happened to me while I was pugging on my alt in season one. And it's it went identically to this situation. The guy who does it just types a bunch of question marks and is like kind of like agitated. I don't understand how this happens. In that video, we talked about it as well. And I don't know, I feel bad about this because we just like kind of trolled this guy's key. Like if you just look at the fact that the key started and then immediately ends without even entering combat, that looks really squirrely. But the group that formed agreed to do an eight and it's said this guy puts in a five so can you even be mad about that i don't really know but that's just warming up let's check out the next one more of our allies my father's ancient lair there is still power within these rocks that five not be disturbed. four three two one That is like peak physical comedy in Mythic Plus World of Warcraft. And I think what's even funnier is that you probably don't realize it, but this is in a two, a Mythic Plus two. The monk is trying to do that thing. You probably just heard about it or something like that, where you can jump down at three and you'll be starting at the bottom of the dungeon before the timer even ends. And uh, yeah, he forgot that it's his keystone. So everybody just jumps down and nobody starts the key. But that's not actually the only clip from this run that's worth taking a look at. That kind of stuff just like tickles my fancy is the only way I could say it. Watching people like fall to their deaths in a two is just so freaking funny to me. We actually have a whole video on this from season one. One of the funniest videos I've ever had submitted. And what was even funnier is the person who submitted it didn't even really like submit it for that reason. That wasn't the main reason they submitted it. And I could show you the whole thing again, but literally the whole video is just hilarious. So the link's down below in the comment section there. But that's it for that key. There's actually another clip that I want to show you that I think it's almost just kind of like bizarre. It's, it's really, really weird. That's almost like skillful to actually pull that off, to death grip that mob while it's in the middle of the cast. And then it just moves it. And then the cast is now in a different spot that people aren't ready to react to. Maybe you missed it. Like, check it out. Watch it a second time. It's crazy. It's just like double kill, right? Like he just like killed his own teammates, basically. It looks so funny. But like all good clips, it's not over. Like they only had two people die, right? They could just battle res continue right like let's let's see the rest of the clipper 
Also, what might not be immediately obvious, it's like the actual like UI on the screen here. This is like right out of classic. I have not seen a UI with like four separate frames for each player individually like that. I have not seen that in a very, very long time. But you'll see down there, we have the Holy Pally and the Blood DK on the top. And then you see like the DPS down here, right? And you notice the Blood DK, he actually dies to this when gripping it. And because he doesn't have Purgatory up, otherwise he would have survived that and none of this would have happened. But they, they battle res him. Like it's not the end of the world, right? Like you can just battle res and keep going on. But... Wait, 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 what happened there? They res the guy and then Lyaxa like jumps over there and just instantly kills the druid. But there's a little bit more nuance here than it looks like. Ports over there, druid just doesn't move out of it and just gets killed by it. And then while the person who submitted the key is like trying to figure out how they died, here comes another death. Look at that. Boom. That guy just straight up doesn't move out of that mechanic. Holy Pally's just standing in front of the bus that's about to run him over and just knocks him out. We've now had four deaths on this fight and that is going to be that. But at this point, you'll notice that the druid is now offline. I'm not like entirely sure if he legitimately goes offline here you guys can cast your vote but you see he's repositioning his character and then once it's here he kind of like struggles to figure out where he is and then throws an auto attack and then just dies it always makes me whenever you see somebody auto attack it always makes me think that their hands are off the keyboard one way or the other like they see that auto attack and then just doesn't move so it makes me think maybe he did legitimately dc here the thing that makes me laugh about this so much is you know the person who died to the first thing thinks that that's the funniest part of the key and like that's the reason they wiped they're here they're checking out the creeping rot and then behind that failure screen is another failure you know like this is how much you might miss if you're not actually recording your runs because then they're talking about it in guild chat that, that that was amazing the tank gripped the first boss ad right when it did the creeping rot and wiped us but that's not actually what wiped you you could have easily survived that you just res the tank and then you're the only one dead and you finish the fight but then the two other people die but somebody in the guild says that's one for metro yeah you're damn right it is and now that the druid is offline it pre presents an even funnier thing because the druid was the group leader and apparently they listed the group saying like just a chill completion only kind of group like they didn't really care one way or the other and now they're offline so you tell me do you think that's a rage quit do you think that is a legitimate dc and maybe people just don't give them enough time to get back online and if it is a rage quit it makes me really think about why and what happened there the guy probably started at like a 20 or something like that and then it goes all the way down to an 18 and now he's just like just get me out of this key i just want any other dungeon and then yeah if he uh, was actually online there he just stands in that mechanic which is hilarious to me and stuff like that you will not see at a first glance right only upon reviewing the footage would you notice that these things occurred it's really a great advertisement for why everybody should be out there recording their own runs so if you're recording all of your runs and you run into funny moments please send them to me i'm begging you if you're out there doing especially low keys forward them send them in to me whatever you gotta do upload them to google drive upload them to youtube shoot me the link on discord or you could email the channel or you can just like leave a comment or something like whatever is easiest for you guys because we can laugh but we can also learn there's a lot to be learned from these situations so give it a shot let me know what you guys think if you have any questions let me know about like the whole recording process or anything like that otherwise we'll see you guys in the next video